Hi, this is Sandy Cuspitz, de decorating service and Bruce Latch's uh, furniture refinishing. This is the clock that I've been restoring. This is the door to the clock. I took the images that I could save from the door on a piece of tracing paper and then I traced them, made a pin dot pattern and then put the images back on after Bruce put the finish on. And this is the, the body of the clock, and um, I couldn't actually trace anything off of the side, but I could see it a little bit, so I just uh, sketched it out, made a pattern, and put it back on here. Shall I turn it? Yeah, can you please? Okay. And of course, the top of the clock is missing off the top right now. There's, and we see in the door, there's the other side. I like that finish. You can see the red coming through. Okay, so what do you got over and here? And this is the top of the clock. Do you want to demonstrate something? Sure. I've traced some of the images that were on here. And this is how you put on a... This is a pin dot pattern. And this is a pounce. Where's the... It has dried paint pigment in it. Where's the pattern? This is the pattern. And then you put your pattern on here like this. And that's how you get your image on your piece so that you can paint it. Got on very well, but you you can see it, can't you? Yeah, I can see it. And I can see it in here. You. Mm -hmm. Here's so, another one. Do I do any demonstrating? Or... Oh, okay. This one might come out a little bit better. You can see it good, but not as good on the camera. Yep, that one came out. That one came out a little bit nicer. You got any batter mixed up? Here. Um, gesso. You want to demonstrate a little? Okay, well, um, for the raised work, we use Durham's water putty, and you mix it with lacquer, and it makes what uh, what we use to do raised work with gesso. I'll show you here. It's like, kind of like pancake batter. Okay, which way are you going to work it? Up or down? Right there? Yeah, right here. Oops, sorry.
<clears throat> That's how you get the raised work on there. And you got to let that dry for about 10 15 minutes. And then what I use to paint it with are these Crest Light bronzing powders mixed with lacquer. Mm hmm you see it there. Yeah. And you can try to Google this, Crest, Crest, Crescent Bronze um, Metallic Products. That's where you get the powders to paint this stuff with. Mm, there you go. Do you want me to demonstrate painting something with it? No, because that's not dry, is it? <clears throat> no. Um, Here's the top of the clock. And, yep. And then, like the front. Let's see here. The clock is almost completed. She's got it tied up so that door don't flop open and break. Okay, well, then I'll show them. The, on the door, to get all the stripes on your piece, this is a striping brush. It holds a lot of paint and it kind of fits into the palm of your hand like that. You gonna stripe that door? I'll I'll stripe a little bit just to show them how how it's done. Which which way are you gonna go? I'll down? go this way. See how I hold it in my hand? Mm -hmm. Then I can use these three fingers as a guide. Okay. When you're working with lacquer and bronzing powders, you only get one try because it doesn't, you can't wipe it off and do it again. Surprised you got that far without having to load that brush. Yeah. It's a great brush, striping brushes. So that's how you do that. Should I finish it or just... Yeah, you might as well finish it. This is the door of the clock upside down. <clears throat> So if you have a piece of furniture that needs to be restored and decorated, um, just contact Bruce Latch at Timus Arts in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hmm. I just got to get the center of it. And this clock is a extremely old clock. It's from the 1800s, so. There's the other side that has not been striped yet.
There you go. Yep. Well, thank you, Sandy. Thank you very much. If you want something painted, please call me. Hmm. Show that beautiful clock again. <coughs> and we're talking about beautiful things here. Here's one of my 1970 Vista Light drums I'm working on restoring. <laughs> That's one of the bass drums. There's the rest of the drums down there. And here's the other bass drum. See how nasty it looks. But we were looking at Sandy stuff. Have a good day and thank you.